Hi friends, good morning. I am Kurnal Mure from Leading Networks. Uh, right now we are talking about one access point, special access point we can say. Uh, this is access point. Uh, we think first of all this is access point but no, this is more than access point. This is a inbuilt WLC access point. This uh, is a new in the market from a Cisco which connect or we can say which will support up to 25 access point. This act as a WLC means a controller. So you don't have to buy a separate controller when this access point is in your network. Okay, this is a 1852 series access point which is newly introduced by Cisco. And as we can say, there is some port ports. This is a PoE port which we can use for a power in power. This is a power injector port and this is a console and this is USB for upgrade and all of that things. Okay, so let's come for advantages as we can see here. This is a new launch by Cisco. This is a Mobility Express Access Point. Series is AP1852. And this is a WLC plus access point which support up to 25. This is a main function. This support up to 25 access point, including this one. Okay. This is a uh, new feature is 802.11 AC Wave 2, which is multi gig throughput and it support 160 megahertz channel width. And this is especially ideal for small uh, business, which uh, small businesses. Okay, so let's come to configuration. Very small configuration we have to uh, done to it uh, for take this in our network. Okay. Okay. When we power it on, uh, then it broadcast to one SSID. Just we have to connect it to uh, this Cisco Air provision. Okay, we have to connect it and password is password is password. Okay. Once we are connected, we have to put default IP address which access point here. It's a 192.168.1.1. Then this screen come in the picture. We have to give a username. Cisco. And we have to give one pass key. Okay. Then only three step configurations is there. Okay. First step is that we have to set up this access point as a controller. Okay. In this we have to enter a name, then country region. Okay. Then time zone, NTP server. If you have NTP in your network, then just put IP address here. Then management IP for access point, then subnet mask and default gateway. Okay, first step is finished. Then for a second step, we have to just give a SSID which we want to broadcast and pass key for that. Again, we have to repeat a pass key and VLAN management. In this, we can specify a you know, new VLAN or whatever VLAN we have to add. DHCP server is also there. You have to give a DHCP IP if this. DHCP is in your network. Okay, guest network is also there. You can modify it. And last step is third step. This is advanced setting. This is RF planner optimization. Uh, in this feature, we can uh, set a density as according to our client and also traffic. Whatever uh, traffic in our network is, this is a data or wise. We can select traffic according to that. That's it. Okay, we have to. Save it. Okay? That's it. Thank you.